the majority of Brits are waking up and finally fighting back against net zero tax rises. We were all getting worried actually the last couple of months, especially after COP26. Despite the fact that COP26 conference and the people, the elitists, you know, the corporations and the politicians, they undermined a lot of things that they were preaching themselves by just organizing the conference. It was a bit of a mess, but we didn't really know exactly how people would react until a lot of people have been exposed to the information about the policies that will create uh, this agenda uh, for, the, for the next few years. At least in this country, we now have some good news. People are not too happy with the proposed policies. Three in five in the UK are going to reject higher taxes just to reach net zero. And this statistics that we now have from various different surveys actually confirm that there is a mood, there's a vibe right now around the, around the country that people like Boris Johnson and Carrie Johnson and Zach Goldsmith and all these lot, they are wrong. The same reason that David Cameron was wrong in 2010 with all hug a hoodie, hug a husky and trees are brilliant. If you want to be progressive, if you want to have, you know, be, have clean environments and clean air, clean water, same sort of things that Margaret Thatcher and Ronald Reagan were talking about, you do it in a non-hippie way. You, you can do it from a free market perspective. Look at the stats. 70% of Brits are worried about the energy costs this Christmas. The, the hippies didn't really think about this problem. Over 60% of Brits say that they won't benefit from government's own green subsidies. The subsidies, the free money that the government are promising to give people to bribe them to vote for them, you know, over 60% of Brits don't really care about it. As we said, three in five UK adults are not willing to pay higher taxes for these energy policies. 65% of UK adults also say that they haven't been given enough of a say when it comes to uh, this whole agenda, the whole program, because it's not really a um, decentralized democratic kind of agenda. It's, it's everything's completely centralized from Westminster and, of course, around the world, all the governments that we currently have. And net zero could deliver a political crisis greater than the poll tax. This is a key point. Now, there is a net zero watch, the website, the campaign group that do a really, really good job when it comes to creating a debate and create an environment where we can actually discuss things and we don't really just have Greta Thunberg and obviously Klaus Schwab and people like that to just dictate onto us what we need to do. There should be a debate. There should be democracy injected into the debate because local people in different areas need to have a say. This is not to say that we need to have a say just to reject it. Just have a debate, see what people want, and then you could come up with a normal policy. Don't go crazy. We're not Canada. We're not France. <laughs> so, <laughs> even France is not that bad. Uh, we're going to have more discussions uh, over the next uh, few videos uh, throughout the day. We're going to have something about Julian Assange. We're going to have City Khan's uh, transport for London going down as usual. And the Big Brother Watch fighting back against health ID cards. Subscribe to the channel. I'm MyTC and we are the media.